All right, we're on to part C, which is doing generation three. So go for it, Mr. Whitfield. All right, by be begin by determining the genetic makeup for offspring of generations 2-1 and 2-2, which are generations 3-1 and 3-2. Place the appropriate number of blue chips in the male and female bags based on the numbers in the circle, generation 2-1. And square, generation 2-2, once the blue chips have been added to each bag, add yellow chips until each bag has 10 chips total. So just to do the same thing with bags, but you're gonna do it for every single family here. So you've got the original parents, now their kids are gonna have grandkids for them. So this is a couple, this is a couple, this is another couple. So each of their kids now are married or you know have kids of their own. And so what you do is the bag right here, for this person, you've got eight blue. And since we want to get the 10, the yellow, you're going to put two in there, right? And then for um, the actual sun, okay, this is the number of blue. So the blue, you're going to put in four blues, but how many yellows are you going to put in to equal 10? Six, okay? And you're doing the same thing. So Mr. Whitfield, what are they doing for step number 11? Number 11, you're gonna draw five chips from each bag to determine the genetic makeup, number of blue chips, so which is the dominant allele, and offspring using the same procedure as in part B, step seven. Exactly, so five chips from here, five chips from here, and you just document how many blues there are, okay? So for generation three, this couple had two boys. See that, two squares? All right, and Mr. Whitfield, number 12. All right, so repeat steps 10 to determine the offspring of generations 2-3 and 2-4, as well as generations 2-5 and 2-6, and generations 2-7 and 2-8. Exactly, so basically what you're doing is, what I did here for the bags, you're gonna do it here again, and then follow, you know, find out how many blues are for the kit. So let me just repeat it again, what you're doing is you're gonna make a new bag for each of these parents, okay? So you put in the blues, which is six, and the yellows, which would be four. And then this one only had one blue, and you had yellows, which is nine. You pull out five chips from each, okay? And then you figure out for this kid. Okay, so let's say you pull up five chips and the kid's only got three blues. Okay, now this is her first kid. Two years later, they had this daughter. So their daughter got three blues. Two years later, they have this daughter. So obviously, you have to put the chips back in the bag. Okay, and you have six, four, one, nine, and you pull out five again. And I'll say this daughter's got four. Okay, now two years later, they have this son. So now you put the chips back in the bag, pull it out, pull out five. And now let's say this kid's got five blues, okay? So every kid needs to make sure this, every kid, when you draw out, you have to redo the bag for the parents, okay? Every kid, okay? So how many times are you gonna have to redo the bags for generation three? You have to redo it for this kid, then you put them back in for this kid, okay? Then you figure out this couple's genes, redo the bag, redo the bag, redo the bag, figure out this couple's genes, bag, 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 so you have to redo them all. Well, this couple's genes, and then bag in the bag, okay? So you're gonna be pulling out bags, refilling them, pulling out bags, refilling, pulling out, refill over and over again to get all the kids' genes the proper way, okay? And that is part C.